Done the 17th day of September in the year of our Lord, 1787. This is the last line of the U.S. Constitution. In the year of our Lord, in 1787 in America, the year of our Lord meant in the year of our Lord, Jesus Christ. No one can dispute that. The Constitution begins with, we the people, in order to establish a more perfect union and to secure the blessings of liberty. Blessings. Blessings implies a blessor. Who was the blessor of liberty to our nation? Our Declaration of Independence, to which the first paragraph of the Constitution was referring, answers that question. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal and are endowed by their Creator with certain inalienable rights. Among these are life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. So, according to our Founding Fathers, the writers of the Declaration of Independence and the writers of our own Constitution, the Creator God blessed us with liberty. Our Founding Fathers said this truth is obvious or self-evident. And then, when establishing the Constitution, that legal document under which our Constitutional Republic would operate, they went on to say, we established this document, this Constitution, in order to secure these blessings of liberty that come from God. And we sign off on it in the year of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every signer of the Constitution signed his name under these words and these beliefs. Professors Donald Lutz and Charles Heinemann published an article in American Political Science Review in 1984. They examined nearly 15,000 writings of the 55 writers of the U.S. Constitution, including newspaper articles, pamphlets, books, and monographs, and discovered that the Bible, especially the book of Deuteronomy, contributed 34% of all of the direct quotes made by the founders. When indirect Bible citations were included, the percentage rose even higher. In a 4th of July oration in 1802, Daniel Webster stated, quote, We live under the only government that ever existed which was framed by the unrestrained and deliberate consultations of the people. The history of the world is before us. The civil, the social, the Christian virtues are requisite to render us worthy the Constitution of that government which is the freest on earth. America's Christian and biblical heritage cannot be denied except by those who are completely blind or who are purposely ignoring the truth.